Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name's Lauren, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my 2022 beauty favorites. And uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Nice, short, sweet intro. Let's just jump right in. First, I'm gonna start off with face products, so face makeup, primers, foundation, uh, concealer, all that stuff. And the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. The one silicone free primer that does it all. This is what it looks like. And I really love this product. I only started using it a couple of months ago, but I already bought a backup because I love this so much. And you know what's funny? I was doing my makeup today and I already had all this stuff in the box. So I actually forgot to put this on because I was like pulling stuff out of the box and pulling stuff out of my makeup collection. And I forgot to wear this and I noticed immediately once i put my foundation on i was like oh this was a mistake i can definitely tell the difference it definitely smooths my pores out it feels very hydrating it has a really strange consistency it's like a i don't know if you guys can see oh let's put a little on my finger it's like a i don't even know how to describe this oh will it show you oh there you go i don't know it looks like it's gonna be silicone-y and then you put it on and it's like very like it like melts into the skin. It gets very like liquidy and watery, almost watery. I don't know, it's very, it's a super strange texture. I don't know how Wet n Wild did it, but I love this product and I'm definitely, this is my go-to primer. I'm not gonna buy any other primers. Next, I'm gonna be talking about foundation and concealer and I'm gonna talk about them at the same time because they're from the same brand. So this is the Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation with Broad Spectrum SPF 25. And this is the Kosas Revealer Concealer, Brightening Concealer. And the concealer is 01N, and the foundation is neutral, I'm sorry, very light neutral 110. I love them. They definitely feel like skincare, but I also feel like I get coverage. I'm wearing both of these on my face today. Very dark circles, and this does a really great job of covering them up. And then this guy just feels really comfortable on the skin. It feels lightweight, but it also feels like it's giving me coverage. I almost feel like I'm wearing like a tinted moisturizer in the way that it feels on my skin, but then it gives me the coverage of like a light to medium coverage foundation. So love this for every day. And this concealer, I already, this is my second tube of this. So love it. These are two... The, all of my face products that I found this year, slash this is from last year, I'm definitely going to be going back to and they will be my go-to foundation, concealer, primer, base for the rest of eternity until they discontinue it or I find something that's even better. But so far, these are the best for me. And just to put it into perspective, I have pretty dry skin, I have pretty big pores, I have dark circles, so I have a lot of things I'm contending with here. And these, I feel like, let my skin come through, but also um, give me the coverage and the like finish that I'm looking for. Next, I have some blushes, and the first ones I'm gonna talk about are the e.l.f. Putty blushes. I have the color, oh, the color is no longer on there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I have the color's not on here anymore, it's only in the box. Anyway, it's this like ruddy brownie one. And then this like super electric pink one. And I just like these. I like, it's like a, I'll show you guys in the red one so you can really see it. I like the consistency of these. You know, you just, I just dip my finger in uh, like this and then kind of blend it out onto my skin. Oh, and it's really like just easy and I don't know, I just, I just really like it. It doesn't feel like too much. I was having a problem when I first started getting it's like cream blushes that I would get it and it would be like super, super, super pigmented. And I always looked like I went too far. And so with these, I feel like I don't have to worry about that as much. So it's just like a nice little flush of color and they're really great. This is like a really obviously great price point. So another brand I got to try out this year was Merit and I really love their blushes. I have a couple of shades. I have Terracotta, Beverly Hills, and Cheeky. And my favorite one is Terracotta, and it's like this peachy, kind of warm peachy color. I don't know if you guys can see. It's very, very like 
pretty subtle on my skin. It just gives me like a warm glow. I'm wearing it today. It's like I said, it's very subtle. It looks gross right now because it's just like covered in makeup, but it's like flat. So these come as round. They're quite round. I'll show you guys another one that I haven't used as much. And this one is basically flat because I use it so much. Uh, there, that's kind of a better representation of the color, like peachy, just like warm peach color. I really, really love it. I've been reaching for it. If I put blush on, I usually go for that one. This is cheeky. See how they're quite round when you first get them? And the cheeky, uh, the terracotta one I've used so much that it's flat. <laughs> so that's cheeky. It's like a bluey pink. And then we have Beverly Hills, which is a more of like a neutral. So this one's like a bit darker and this one's a bit lighter. And then that's what it looks like in, in a little, the little pot. And I really love the way that the Merit blushes look on my skin. And I really enjoy um, the feel and that they're super subtle, but they also feel like they're, they are giving you like a little flush. So those are all of the face products that I want to talk about. And now we're going to move on to eye products. And one thing that I really appreciated was like little eye palettes this year because I did a little bit of traveling and I wanted to have something that would give me a lot of options while still being small enough for me to travel with. There's nothing worse than you traveling and you open your bag and something has exploded or broken or something and they have powder everywhere and your stuff's broken. So I loved being able to travel with a smaller palette and so I have two favorites for like a little tiny makeup palette, eye palette, and they are, the first one is from Undone Beauty. It's the Curator Eye Quad, um, and it says it can transform from shadow to liquid liner. I haven't tried the liquid liner part, but there she is. I mostly use these two lighter shades, the brown and the gold, but I've also, ooh, used this like purpley one. I don't really use the bronzy one all that much, but I really like these shades. Um, the brown one is matte, so it's nice to have like a base and then you go in with the sparkly one on top. So that one is great and it's vegan and cruelty free. So we love that. And then this other one is from Natasha Denona. It's the mini Zendo palette and it's all these pinks. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. I love these two together. Um, and I've been slowly kind of getting into these two, but like all spring long, I wore this like rosy pink with the rosy pink shimmer. Love it. So love both of these and I wore them a ton this year and they were great for travel. I want to talk about these individual shadows too. And they are the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames Multichrome Pigment for eyes and face. They look like this. And they look very similar in the tube, but they're very similar in real life too. And I wanted like a duochrome shadow and I couldn't find any that I liked. And then I saw these and I was like, oh my God, I need them. They've been great because I've gone to a lot of concerts this year and I wear them to every single concert because it's just like so fun. Like if you're gonna, if you're gonna go to a concert, you gotta have like fun shimmery eyes. So one is like a greeny gold and then one is like a pinky blue Ooh, I don't know if it's gonna like show up a little bit so that's what they look like the top one is bay and the bottom one is crazy for you and I just oh, love these they're not exactly functional for like every day like I feel like if I wore these to work I would kind of get like I don't know some side eye but Maybe I'll try it. I have to go in later this week, so maybe I'll I'll wear these and see what what the, the the response is. But I really really like these. I got these halfway through the year and love them, love them so much. Finally, for eyes, I have two larger palettes that I'm I've been obsessed with this year, and the first one I got last year actually, but I got it at Christmas, so I only mostly used it this year. And it's the Melt. Oh my God, what was this called? Ugh. It was like a limited edition Melt Cosmetics palette. Um, oh, uh, Mariposa, ooh. Butch, I'm sure I butchered it. But this is her, oh, so pretty. 
So you got your greens and you got your pinks and purples and oranges and then you got like this second row of neutrals. I like this one so much. Their, their mattes especially are super pigmented and you can really just like make some pretty vibrant looks with this and I love it so much. Like any fun eye look that I did this year was using at least one of these shadows. And then the other palette that I was really loving this year is the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. And oh, first of all, how fun is this? I did this like a thousand times when I first got it. I was like, this is the best palette I've ever gotten. Anyway, <laughs> the reason I love it is because I love this color combination so much. I love the peaches. I love the greens. I really, really wore um, this guy a lot. I really like that one. And then I really wore... Um, prickly and twist a lot and fuzz also was a really good one these were two really great palettes from this year and I don't really buy a lot of big palettes anymore so when I do I make sure I use them and really love them and these are two that I'm obsessed with I'm gonna talk about lips next you know I gotta swatch every lipstick that I have so we're gonna do that okay First one I don't need to swatch because it's chapstick. This is the Kosa Sport Hyaluronic Lip Balm. I really just like this because it's like a, it looks like a little like sunscreen kind of guy. It's got this like long wide top. And I, I just really like this. I was using the Bite Beauty chapstick last year and it was like good, but I felt like I went through really fast. It's a really soft formula, and this one I feel like is more like a regular chapstick in terms of lasting power, I guess. Like, I didn't have to go through it as quickly, and I just like the way this feels on my lips. Like, maybe it's just like a normal chapstick, who knows, but it feels good. It's not like too wet. Like, I can put it on, dab it on, and then put on lipstick and not feel like the lipstick's gonna go everywhere. So, love her, and just like, ah, oh, it's so cute. I don't, pack, I hate when people are like, I love it for the packaging because it's like, you're not buying the product for the packaging. You're buying the product to use the product. But I will say, I will say this is, the packaging is an added bonus. Like it's this little, little twist guy. Ah, oh, there's like a little fuzz on it because why not? But yeah, so love her, super cute. Oh, for eyes, I forgot my mascara. Okay, so this is the Rare Beauty black mascara. I think they only have one anyway. And love this. I bought many of these so far. I have tried other things and I keep coming back to this one. It's so good. I have it on my lashes today. And um, yeah, can't go wrong. I think this was one of my favorites last year too. And nothing has stacked up to this yet. So if you guys know of a cheaper alternative that does the same thing as this, or it does the same thing as the Lancome Monsieur Big. Let me know, because those are this one and that Lancome one are my two favorite mascaras of all time. So I'm just I'm just trying to meet that. And this one is doing a great job, so it's just so expensive. Okay, the actual lips. Another lip balm. This is from Ilia, and it's a tinted lip balm in memoir. And I got this in a kit. I got I bought like a bunch of gifts for people. And then I was like, ooh, <laughs> gift for me. So I got an Ilia like lip kit. I got this tinted balm. I got like a squeezy clear balm. And then I got a lip mask for overnight. And I love the lip mask too, but I wanna like use it more before I'm like, this is the best lip mask ever. This lip balm is really nice because Tinted lip balms, I feel like on me usually look like, just like, I don't know, there's something about it. It's, it feels like, I'm not a big lip gloss fan and it gives me like lip gloss vibes. So I don't really like that. But this one is quite pigmented and very creamy. So it definitely gives more of like a lipstick appearance when you're wearing it, which is what I like. I don't want it to feel like I'm just wearing like a lip gloss. I'm not a lip gloss person. I don't like how it looks on me, but uh, this one I feel like gives more of a lipstick look. And I really, really like it. I think this is full size, so I'm gonna get my, my use out of it. But I really like bringing this places if I'm like 
wearing lipstick that's really annoying or it's drying or whatever and I know I'm not gonna want to reapply it so I'll just bring this so I'll just bring this and then this will be what I reapply halfway through the day because it'll hydrate my lips and it'll still give me the look of wearing like a lipstick okay in that same vein this is the undone beauty matte talk in baby beige and i actually saw these recommended half the makeup i have is recommended by julia adams mua on youtube this is no different it's like a matte lip balm so again it definitely doesn't give the look of like gloss because it is a matte it's super super comfortable they only have like five colors and this is the only color that i like it's this bottom one it's like a warm nudie peach the only thing that sucks about this product is the packaging is really crappy <laughs> and i don't really like i said i don't really care about the packaging but like the i've only had it for like a couple of months and like the caps already cracked and if i put this in my bag it's they're separating like it doesn't you don't have to try and so undone beauty give me more colors and improve your packaging like a little bit i'll pay more I just I gotta be able to like take this on the go next I'll, I'll talk about my returning favorite here this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipstick and spice and she is getting used up so I had this color from white beauty when they had their amuse bouche matte lipsticks it was called verbena I went on Temptalia, Tem Temptalia and I looked up a dupe for that because they discontinued it and the one that I had was a thousand years old but I loved it. I kept it way too long after its prime. Anyway, I needed a replacement. So I found this guy and oh, there she is. It's the bottom color. It's so good. It goes with everything, every makeup look. Oh, I love it. This is like my perfect lipstick shade right here. Next we have a rare beauty matte lipstick in bold first of all we're talking about the packaging it's so cute i love that it's flat on one side so it doesn't roll all over and um i can't resist oh my god i had a lipstick that did this from boots number seven and i got rid of it because i never used it but i did love the packaging like i said this is the color bold and it's quite similar to the spice i clearly have a type so this first one is spice from anastasia and the second one is bold so it's a little more pinky a little more like warm love this guy i've been wearing this a lot it's very comfortable on the lips uh i feel like it's a nice color again not a, not a huge shade ra shade range i gotta say like it's very like a lot of like neutral colors which is fine like if you're gonna put out a new product I guess you want to start with colors that you think are gonna sell but like I personally would love like a, like a dark maroon I'm always looking for a dark maroon all right so next we have this lip blur in the color modern from say beauty this was an unexpected one I saw this and I was like oh I bet this I bet this is nice. I like the word like lip blur. It gets me excited. It feels like matte and it's going to be lightweight and those are all like things that I want. So it's this gigantic swatch on the end. It's like a more bluey neutral pink. I have reached for this a lot. This was a late in the game purchase. I got this in November of this year and I have been really loving it. I always have this in my bag. I always like reach for this and put it on and, and it's just like really, really comfortable on the lips fades really evenly and it's just like I don't know why no one's talking about this that I've seen because it's really nice I don't remember there being a lot of shades in this maybe because it's new but you guys should check this out if you're looking for a lightweight matte lipstick I would definitely try this guy because it's so good the last one is from about face and it's their liquid lipstick paint it lip color um, and what color is this baby's arms baby's arms this was another one that was a Julia Adams MUA recommendation. She put these on and I was like, I need it. And in fact, the color that I wanted to get in addition to this was sold out. And I'm still waiting for it to come back in stock. So this is the color Baby's Arms. 
and it's just like a fun bright pink i love the packaging and then it's just a little doe foot applicator with the little points so you can get really really in there make sure it doesn't get too crazy i'm just waiting for this to dry so you can see it in all its matte glory <laughs> just watching a video of someone blowing on their hand this is like asmr except not it's mostly dry so there's baby arms so it's much more bright and warm and like fun like this is going to be all spring long i'm actually going on a vacation to a tropical location and uh at some point in the next couple of months when it's still cold here but it'll be warm there and i'm bringing this and i'm gonna wear it <laughs> haven't worn it too much yet but i really like the way it feels on the lips Again, it's matte, but it's pretty comfortable. Very lightweight texture, very like, I don't wanna say moussey in terms of the texture creamy, I guess. I would say lightweight, very like smooth, and just like really comfortable. Okay, the last beauty thing I'm gonna talk about today is nail polish. And I'm gonna start with the CND Vinyl Lux color in the shade splash of teal i don't know something about this color this year i've worn a ton i really really like this i don't know there's something about this color it feels like funky and fun but not too crazy i kind of want to paint my nails this color right now um I'll, sh I'll show you what i'm between this one and one other one and then you guys can tell me which one you like the best but really like this one i've used a lot of it i you know when you buy nail polish you're never like oh i'm gonna finish it i feel like i never get to see how far I've come, but this one is, I don't know, one third of the way gone. So I think I really enjoy it. The next one is uh, this guy, um, Olive and June in OMG. And it's just like a nice like denim -y, navy blue. I love navy blue nails. And so this is a really good one. I really like the Olive and June formula. I also really like the CND Vinyl Lux formula. All these formulas I enjoy, so. I don't buy nail polish really unless I like the formula, even if it's a really cool color. But yeah, love this one. I've worn it quite a bit. I generally wear it all year round, honestly. And it's a great color. All right, moving right along. The rest are Essie, the original formula. And I'm gonna show you the blue one first because we've showed you teal, I got a navy in there. So this one I picked up when I was in Europe. I think I was in Germany. I was in like a German, I don't know, CVS or something essentially. And they had so, they had every single Essie nail polish that Essie makes. So this is Aruba Blue. And it's like this, I'm not like a big shiny nail person. Like I more prefer creamy colors, but uh, I couldn't resist this one. It's so pretty. I wore this around the holidays and I just, I loved it so much. Usually I remove my nail polish within like a week and a half. Maybe like not even a week. I barely make it a week. Every other week I'm painting my nails. So this one, I loved it so much. I kept it on for almost two and a half weeks because I didn't want to take it off and I loved the way that it looked. So this one was so good. I'm so glad about this. Next is an orangey rusty color. This is called Plain Koi. Uh, and I like this one so much. So this is like fall for me. I wear this color if I'm want to feel the fall vibes you know sometimes you just need fall nails and so this is my go-to for that it's just like the perfect dark rusty pumpkin color and it's, it's a good one okay so finishing last two are greens so we have a dark green this is called off tropic and then a bright green which is called willow in the wind and this one i think i bought in 2021 i've had this for a while and i just really love it it's like a super super dark green and it just like looks really good on my nails and it's nice when basically i love any color that looks like black when it's on your nails but you just like people catch it in the light and they're like oh my god are you wearing dark green nail polish and i'm like yes i am so love this one it's perfect for like those days when i want to wear basically black nail polish but i don't feel like wearing black nail polish and then this one i bought this year Whoo! i love her so much Oh, I love this color so much. It's like a, like a, it's like an ugly, just like yellowy green. It's like, oh, it's so good, guys. I love this on my nails. And this is the other color that I'm thinking about painting my nails. And between these two. So you guys let me know in the comments down below 
which color I should paint my nails. If I should do this teal or if I should do this kind of gross green. Let me know. I would love for someone else to decide besides me. I never know what I want to paint my nails, what color I want to paint my nails. So I would love your opinion. And with that, those are all of my beauty favorites from 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe uh, if you don't want to miss anything from me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.